my dear Chris, Luthien says for me more than a multitude of words, for she was and knew she was my Luthien. I never called Edith Luthien, but she was the source of the story that in time became the chief part of the Silmarillion. It was first conceived in a small woodland glade filled with hemlocks at Roos in Yorkshire, where I was for a brief time in command of an outpost of the Humber garrison in 1917, and she was able to live with me for a while. In those days, her hair was raven, her skin clear, her eyes brighter than you have seen them, and she could sing and dance. But the story has gone crooked, and I am left, and I cannot plead before the inexorable Mandos. I will say no more now. Who will tell our stories now? now.